last 24 hours has been highly volatile. The moment you got the news out in the market, everything started dropping even harder. Yes, that news came out and 720 million has been liquidated from the market in just four hours. But this is the current situation. So this, as of now, is slowing down. The tensions are erasing. So now the question is, from that 60,000 low, are we about to go back up to 68, which should be the first leg, then consolidate a bit and then pump towards 72 in the market? If that's the case, what would the altcoins do? That's going to be something we need to look in detail to understand, okay, with such a move, can we learn something from the market? Is the market showing us some detail? Because if it is, then I believe we should not miss that. That would lead for a better outcome for whatever the market is bringing as the next leg. Welcome to the Sinovic Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person of this world. Right now, we look at these and we are like, everything is down. Everything is red. You can see the amount of assets which has dropped significantly. Great. Now, the key idea for you, me and anyone who is involved in this market and who is looking to thrive is to look at the market itself and ask the question, is this the first time we are dropping crazy. No, we have seen these kind of drops over and over again in the market. There was one which was a panic drop here back in August 2023. Then earlier this year, we had another one. And right now we are going through another one. Great. So what can we really learn? Here was like 220 days. Here was 67 days. So the range was much shorter. Great. Now, this one shows you it's 41 days. Can we go back up in next one week? If we do that, that would be below 50 days and we are back about this range. We need to understand that we did not kick out such a move here. The price failed to put in a new high here before it dropped. So the amount of buying strength needs to be higher. And with such a move, the panic was substantial in the market. And that's one of the reasons why we saw assets like XRP dropping like this. In last video, we had the thought process like, okay, now 0.565 is going to be a resistance. And we definitely wanted to hold 0.53. We dropped. 43% from the local swing high. What can we understand in XRP? If you do look at the range, we had a long wick over here and we have another one here. So if you do look at those range as supply and demand zone, where demand is coming back in as the supply pushes the price down, we had another long wick here. Back in August 2023, that was like a 20% wick on a daily chart. Right now, we got the daily close and we can see it's close to 15%. And that's just a wick. Now, while we are here, we need to still look at the entire market to see what the trend is. Because the moment you actually go on to a weekly chart in XRP, this actually becomes a big question. In next 24 hours, which is for the weekly close, can we hold on to this range? Because if we do, now that's a different logic. You come back up. But if we don't, now this area becomes a resistance. So instead of, say, we are looking for at 30x from here, we may get 15. Now, it's disappointing for sure, but... 
to invalidate that thought process, you need to see substantial volume coming in as the price start to take off. But until then, I believe this is going to be the scenario. The only next move which you can do here in the market is like this. Just another candle, which would give you just one more week max to raise this. Because if you don't do that, now that's a significant resistance, right? So that's for example. Now, if you take Ether to understand what the entire altcoin segment would look like, the trend line is still downside in the RSI. The price actually reached so close to the moving average on a weekly. And that was a huge drop in terms of the panic selling. Because the moment you actually go on to a trend line, to observe where we are right now, this bottom to this bottom when you connect it, we reached that range. And one of our video, we actually talked about this thought process. We went through this discussing like, okay, this is where we are with the daily close yesterday, but we had some more room to the downside. Right now we've completed that. We came back down to that trend line. Last time when you reached such a trend line, you bounced off with an around 80% upside. So if we do something similar, okay, that's fine. It's going to be great. But to see how much was the highs before that was almost close. Not a lot, but still we had a little bit more upside. So say the next one is going to be 90%. That is going to be 5,500. That's all time highs in Ether. Fine. But the thought process of the entire market, say, at least if you are looking at the alt market, the trend line here has been broken. And the drop to the downside has been significantly bigger than what I was originally looking for. Because I was looking for something like this. And the market, with the news cycle today, it erased that tendency. Now it's back to the trend line. Just like what we were looking at Ether, this is what you're watching. So you reached back to this trend line. Now, was that volatile? It was damn volatile. It was bad. I mean, it, it's so sad to see the way the market responded to a news like this. Now, yes, the stock market, the commodities market, we'll have to see how they respond when they open on Monday. But... As of now, if you're in altcoin market and you survived, huge, huge shout out to each and every one of you. Because you guys would be among the very few who will see the next leg up. Because we have seen these kind of drops in the past, not with such momentum for sure. Now, if you have a doubt of what that range looked like, just zoom into that range and ask the chart itself. Like how much did we actually drop? So from that local highs, it dropped 27% to the downside. And if you do look at that range, it looks like the Bitcoin range. Right? You dropped initially, you consolidated there, you came back down to that point again, and then you went back up. Fine. So that was 27% to the downside. Here we had another 28% to the downside. Perfect. Right now, we are 29% to the downside. So it shows like, okay, the volatility level is nothing new. These moves are something we have seen before. But within the next 24 to 48 hours, we need to hold this trend line. Now, yes, agreed, we just got a long wick on the altcoin daily close. You know, usually when you do get these, it shows a significant buying power coming into that range. And it also makes sense. The moment you zoom out, say you raise all of this and you look at the price point where we are, you get to see this range of support is what the price action is holding on to now. Last time, the price showed significant volatility. Day. Long wicks were absorbed. And there was a bounce, but it came after negative divergence. So it didn't hold. It broke to the downside. However, right now, 
when you are testing that level, it's great. If you can do this kind of a move, it is going to be substantially bigger. Now, you go into the weekly chart. We want to actually see, okay, how is this thing playing out? Are we going into a bear market? Because we'll have that kind of thought process too in the market. That is where you need to look for trend lines, whether it's the strength or the price action itself. We are still significantly higher than we were. One, two, even after such a drop, you can see this clearly. That's still valid. Yes, instead of that being at a trillion dollar, now we dropped hundreds of billions of dollars today. In the entire crypto market, those huge liquidations, right? So hundreds of millions of dollars have been liquidated earlier today. And now, when people are jumping back in, expect volatility as well. Why? Say, you look at this one candle, the green one. You're now taking three candles to the downside to retest just that one range. Which for me shows like, okay, we have another leg to the upside. And this red candles, which you're watching here, these one, ones, most likely is attracting some sellers and then the price goes up, liquidate them. So the whales are doing whatever they can to use such a news before everything gets concluded. Now, if it gets to the next level like this, oh, it's going to be bad. But most likely, if you look at the timing, this is 6.22 and this, this came out in 6.35. So this was posted there showing it's concluded now. Fine. They are happy with what they've done. And this is what's happened for hundreds of thousands of individuals involved in crypto. A lot of them lost their portfolio, especially the levered ones. I also lost a few positions in our trading bag. And you guys in the Telegram all knew which of those trades were and which trades we are live in. Great. So now, if you are going to take some decisions here at this point, understand the overall market, its direction, before you do take any big decisions. Because we have seen multiple of these trend lines playing out from long term. So if you are to retest that and bounce off, you sure don't want to miss such an opportunity. Yes, it's a crazy day. It's a brutal day. But that also creates strong hands. The highly levered, it's kicked out. Even 3x trades have been kicked out. So it's not only the highly levered who were kicked out, the market just went on stop loss hunting. Because the exchanges know where these stop losses are and there is a panic for them to utilize. I mean, the Wales financial institutions, they don't actually let these kind of events just go by. They used to make the most out of it. But before we conclude the video, watch this. This has happened only two times before. And this is the third time. We are at that trend line where we have started a big movement in the altcoin market. It was like 77 days, then a corrective action, then another 20 days. Here it was like 100 days altogether. So you can actually see how the market is preparing, how the market is moving. Now, if that's true, and we are about to get rejected from this level, there is going to be significant amount of rotation coming into the crypto market, especially the altcoins. You will see a lot of altcoins pumping for no reason. So understand, follow the right assets at the right time. Especially when the price drops like this, now you have huge opportunity in front of you to use. So make the right decision. If you, if you want to see what these assets are doing, what the macro patterns are, join the SI family, take benefit of what's happening here in the SI family. So guys, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, please do that. I'll meet you guys on the next video. Bye for now.